this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and today we're going to be um, using some of our Yopo card. Um, <clears throat> we've got two sizes here that we're selling. This is the A4 and the A5. There's 20 cards in the A5, 10 in the A4. Now this is our premium Yopo card. Now Yopo is a synthetic card it's um it's got a really really smooth surface and it just means that the alcohol inks that we're using doesn't sort of soak straight into the card it gives you time to sort of move the ink around using our blending solution now because it's obviously alcohol based at some point um the alcohol will absorb and the um, image will actually set into the card. So that's that's basically how it happens. I know that um, we've had a few questions on how it works. So I hope that sort of explains a little bit better. Um, if you were to put alcohol ink on uh, just a normal porous card, then you wouldn't be able to move it anywhere. It would just stay where it was, soak in, and you wouldn't get that lovely sort of smoky movement going across the card. So with it being a non-porous card, it means it stays on the surface until the alcohol evaporates and then your, then your image will start to sort of set onto your card then. But you have plenty of time for as long as you're using the alcohol blending solution. Now, if your image sets and the alcohol um, evaporates, you can still add the alcohol blending solution to get it moving again. If there was an area that you wanted to perhaps uh, fade out or add a little bit more colour, um, so I hope, hope that makes it a little bit clearer. Anyway, we've got three new colours in, so I'm going to try these out. I don't think I'm going to try them out all at the same time. Um, I'm going to see how I get on. I think you, you get an idea of, um, as you start working with the inks, whether they need another colour or not. Um, so we'll see. Let's let's just give it a go. Okay, so we're going to start with, let's do the espresso. I've got my <clears throat> um, airbrush here. Um, it, it's kind of like, um, it, it is like a hair dryer. Um, but it's had an attachment on it. Um, a brush attachment. I've just taken that off and just use it to blow the alcohol ink around. So it's sort of a cross between an airbrush hair dryer um, and I think I picked this one up from Argos so um, they, they don't cost too much money either so um, but we found with a heat gun um, it can react with uh, any kind of yuppo because the heat is so intense and with it being a synthetic card it will tend to warp um, so that's why we use an air dryer as opposed to um, a heat gun. This does throw out a little heat but nothing like an air gun would. Okay, so I think I said we'd start with espresso so let's have a these colours work. Now all I've done there is put my alcohol blending solution into one of these bottles with a really fine nozzle so I can just direct the um, blending solution a little easier. <clears throat> see the movement that you get with the alcohol blending solution. Okay, 
So I can see it's starting to slow down a little, so I'm going to use the, the dryer now. So you can see from that, even though that is just the espresso, we've got like undertones of green and orange in there as well. This is why you need to experiment with one colour at a time, just to see what, what actually is going on in there first. I still might add another bit of uh, colour. Um, I think I'll probably add a little bit of the green actually. So let's... Just do a little bit of it at a time now. Okay, so um, we've got uh, green and espresso on that and you can even see here the way that the brown has broken up. It's got a slight orangey sort of red line going on. So it's quite nice really. Um, I quite like that um, espresso. So anyway, I'm going to put that aside um, and then we're going to stamp it shortly. Okay, so we're back with our first card now. Um, this was using alcohol blending solution, alcohol inks and our Yapo. And all I've done is just cut that down the middle to make two sort of A6 sizes. So I'm going to be working with this one. Um, <clears throat> and we're going to be stamping onto it now. As I've said to people before, it is quite tricky to stamp silhouettes onto Yepo. Um, I always use the archival ink, by the way, for Yepo card. Um, the VersaFine just doesn't seem to dry because it's an oil-based ink, so it just sits on top. Whereas this one does actually dry. Um, I'm going to be using the Alcohol Lift ink pad. And we're just using a couple of our uh, stamps. Now again, this is more of a three-dimensional stamp. Um, so you can see that there's detail in it. It's not all silhouette. And these are the stamps that I try and pick now to stamp onto the Yepo. You just get a much better impression with them. But it will never be perfect on Yepo because it is a non-porous card. Um, but you know what, it doesn't really matter, not to me anyway, because it's a piece of artwork, it's never going to be perfect, and nor do you want it to be. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to ink up with the archival now. And I'm just going to stamp that just at the top here. Give that a good press. The good thing about this ink as well, um, it's not, um, because it's not oil based, it doesn't tend to slide. Um, so wherever you pop it down, it does tend to stay as opposed to slide. So 
There we go. Now that is a pretty good impression um, as you can see but had it been a silhouette the centre of the silhouettes don't tend to come out as well. You can touch that up of course um, but if we've got plenty of other stamps to pick from that are more three dimensional that work well then we may as well stick with those. Okay, so I'm going to use now the alcohol lift ink and I'm just going to use our little flower stamp and I'm going to pop that just down the card and you can already see it's starting to kind of bleach out so you've just got to give it um, a little while because if you go to it too soon you might smudge it and I would recommend just sort of dabbing it to start with and you'll soon tell whether it's ready or not to come off just going to leave it just a little bit longer okay so it's just starting to come off now and it's just left our little flower impressions I hope you can see that okay and now I'm going to go back to the archival I'm going to ink up stamp off and then stamp our little flowers onto the card and this just looks really really pretty actually especially with the um, inks that the alcohol left ink that's bleached those areas out it's just a really delicate image okay so we could colour the blossoms in I'm just going to fill these in with the um, Secura pen this is our jelly roll pen this is copper but you can use whatever colour you like. I think pink might be quite nice actually. Pink and green go well together. But I'm just using what's to hand at the moment. Last few. There we go. Okay, so down here I'm going to ink up one of our worded stamps. This is a really nice sort of spring stamp. Um, we've got um, Blissful, Flourish, Free, Spring, Buds, Nocturne, Blue, Spirit, Awakening, Alive, Beginning, Nature. Okay. So inking up in the archival, I'm going to stamp off and then pop that down. And again, stamp off and just pop that down. And I think I'll just do one just in the corner up here, like so. 
Okay, now I think that looks really pretty and works so well with the uh, the Yepo. So I hope you can see that and that you can see the um, the jelly roll pen, the metallic there, just coming through. So that's how quick and easy it is to decorate our Yepo card and make it into a fabulous card. Thanks for watching guys. Bye for now.